Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. Last night I was lucky enough to head on out to the Oracle Arena out in Oakland, California. It was probably a little bit less than a two hour drive from Sacramento, California to see the Road to WrestleMania tour. I was able to head out there with my good friends who both live here in Sacramento, uh, Victor and uh, Mario. Um, I, I've uh, been to a few uh, shows with both of these guys. Uh, we were both the, uh, well, all three of us, I apologize, are all the uh, kind of guys we travel a lot to go to different shows, uh, been here, there, and around the world, and everything else like that. Um, I, uh, if you want to follow them uh, on Twitter, um, Victor is uh, most uh, commonly active on Twitter at, uh, at I-M-A-M-E-L-F-O, I'm a Melfo. Uh, Mario is more active on uh, Facebook, posting pictures and statuses and things like that. Uh, find him on there, or he's uh, sick with it on uh, on Twitter as well. But um, we we headed out. It was the uh, the trio. Uh, we left about two o'clock to try and beat traffic on the way out there. Traffic was uh, congested on the way there, uh, mostly because it was rainy and uh, shitty weather to drive into uh, to Oakland. Uh, where you're sort of like boxed in. You have cars around you all the time. The your rain is up on the windshield and all sorts of shit like that. Um, that sucked. Uh, once we got to uh, Oakland, we needed to kill some time. For some reason, we went to a uh, Walmart. And uh, honestly, um, I have a Walmart in my neighborhood. It's basically right at the end of my street. Um, Walmart's across America. There's better ones than the ones that I live next to. But the one when I was in Oakland was the one where, you know, I walked around the store and I honestly kept my hand on my phone and my wallet the whole time I was there. Uh, I, I did not really feel 100% safe with what was going on <laughs> inside this Walmart. Um, we didn't buy anything while we were there. We walked around, we looked at the figures, we did this, that, and the other. And um, when we left there was one of the funniest altercations of all time. I felt like I was about to be live inside of a World Star video. Uh, pull out the phone, start yelling, World Star! And filming this down. Uh, immediately as we were walking through the security doors of Walmart, we heard... Um, this car honking at this other car, and once we got a couple feet out, this guy was punching this guy's window, yelling at him like, you want to do something? I'm not 100% what was going down. I'm guessing that the car that was in the rear honked at this guy trying to get him to move along, but he was doing the thing like you go get the car, you park it in front of the store. So he was holding up traffic, so the guy was honking at him. The guy took offense that he'd be like trying to get him to move his car, so he got out. And then we almost had this, you know, brouhaha right there in the front of Walmart. We walked across the way, we went to a Chipotle. Once we got in there, we were able to kill a good amount of time. Had an awesome chicken burrito. Um, drank some uh, fresh liquids from their water bar, and uh, just basically, you know, kicked it out until we were able to uh, head on over uh, to the show. We got in; the doors opened at six. I was very surprised the show didn't start till seven thirty, so we had an hour to kill. Uh, we went in, checked out the uh, the merch. Uh, they had the basic stuff. You can see it from the. Uh, um, the video, they had the new Cena shirt, the new Batista shirt, Uso shirt, the older Cena shirt, this, that, and the other. Uh, convinced Victor to pick up the uh, Best of War games for $10. I, I was telling him that was a steal. The first match alone was honestly worth uh, 10 bucks. Uh, I don't remember if that made the top five. I think it did. Um, DVDs of last year on my awards ceremonies but there was some uh some good stuff there once we were able to get down to action oh beforehand um for those who, who watch um zach's videos my good buddy zach um he uh put up a uh a video when he went to the house show here in sacramento i wasn't able to go to that last month uh, i went to the one in stockton the night before that was about an hour and a half drive um away and it was worth it I wish I could have gone to the one here at Arc Arena since it's only 10 to 15 minutes away from my house. But uh, you got to work. got to pay them bills. But uh, Zach was having fun. 
uh, tweeting the uh, WWE Sacramento hashtag, and his tweets were popping up on the Arca Arena big screen. Um, now, um, you know, uh, where we were sitting on the floor, we weren't able to see the big screen because it was up above our head, but I was looking at the uh, uh, thing that was over the um, where the entrance ramp is, and honestly, like, they would revolve, like, in a circle, and, like, the more that were approved, they would just add to the loop, like, it was a long photo stream that just kept playing, like, they were plugging, like, Cena holding up his shirt and a rally towel, Mr. Um, Curtis Axel was wearing his shirt, and, and stuff like that, so you would know where your tweet would be, because it would, they wouldn't move them, but they would add new ones onto the end, and at one point, honestly, I think I had, like, 15 tweets on the thing, <laughs> uh, I was, I was, uh, you know, telling Randy Orton that uh, he made the bad move by coming to Oakland, that Cena was going to beat him in the cage, um, I, I said I came to see Alicia Fox, I had my sign for Alicia Fox, my picture of me in front of the ring, all sorts of just random shit just to kill some time, uh, before the show I was able to meet up with Mr. Paul J.B., He's a good dude. Um, we went to WrestleFest together. Uh, we were at Bound for Glory together. Um, WrestleFest was just announced, so we'll be heading back out to that after WrestleMania season. Um, but, uh, you know, he was just, you know, kicking back and having fun. I had a lot of fun talking to a little guy. Uh, he was sitting in the second row, and uh, it was his first show that he had ever been to. And I was teasing him because he didn't know what was going to be going down that night. And uh, he was asking if uh, John Cena was going to be at the show. I said, yeah, John Cena's announced he's going to fight Randy Orton in the main event. And he said, like, is there going to be any weapons? Which means he didn't know that we were going to get a cage match that night. And I was like, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen. Because I didn't know if they were going to do the whole gimmick where, like, Vicky Guerrero or Teddy Long or whoever the hell's in charge of SmackDown um, came out there and, and then like sort of like did some gimmick where they announced it. So I just didn't want to give the full on spoiler to the kid. But I was like, I'm only going to tell you this because like you're only going to see this one time at your first show and you're lucky to be here. I said, if you look around the ring, there's hints on what it's going to be because they have these big old posts um, in the turnbuckles where they just whip the cage up real fast so that you weren't, you weren't missing it. Um, but I, I had him thinking the whole time because I think he he thought it was a cage because he immediately started looking up because that's you know how they do it on Raw they they'll lower it down but uh, he was marking out uh, once they announced it because I think he knew he was lucky enough to go to his first show and see it uh, first match of the night once the, uh, we all got this started was Biggie Langston uh, the IC champ in the three way with Van Dango and Ryback the the way they worked this match was that Van Dango didn't really fit in. Um, with Ryback and Biggie Langston, uh, he started the match out on the outside, picking his spots, and he would sneak back into the ring. Sometimes he would try to sneak back into the ring, and either Biggie or uh, Ryback would just give him a look, like, if you come in here, you're going to mess with me. And um, he, he would get out of the ring. Some Ray was looking hot, um, and, uh, and she made it worthwhile to be there. I almost took a, a, a at least 15 pictures of her during the time she was out uh, of the ring because she was right in front of us mugging it up for the camera. And um, this was awesome. I want to see Biggie Langston versus Ryback on Raw. I want to see this as a sort of a pay-per-view thing. I've been pushing for Ryback really to get back as, as being a babyface, and I thought that, that would really help change his character. But if I can get Biggie Langston versus Ryback before they do this, we're all okay. It'd be a great WrestleMania match as well because um, Ryback, you know, he lost last year against Mark Henry. It's debatable if he should uh, that should have happened to the guy. Biggie Langston is becoming a hidden day. his for uh, second WrestleMania, but he's looking for his first win. And maybe Ryback's the kind of guy that you can beat uh, before you turn babyface and uh, be on the up and up. Um, from there, we went to Curtis Axel against Zack Ryder. Uh, when Ryder came out to the ring, he threw his uh, shirt into the crowd, and Victor caught it. Uh, I, we sort of both caught it together, like where both of our hands were right here. And uh, we sort of looked at each other like, how, how good of friends are we? And uh, uh, he got the shirt, because I think Ryder was actually throwing it to him. Uh, the other show that we went to in Stockton, um, and I, I think uh, Ryder had uh, recognized uh, Victor, and um, he gave him the head nod. And um, so uh, I, I was really surprised on how wet and how cold his shirt was. Like, he just, like, 
right before he walked out on stage, like he covered himself in ice water. Um, I don't know why the fuck he would have done that, but that shirt really, really was cold. Nothing really much to see in this match. I really didn't pay attention. Axel doesn't do it for me. Ryder hasn't been that guy in a long, long time. After that, uh, Cameron versus Alicia Fox. Um, we had um, Oksana out there as well. Uh, you were supposed to vote on your phone by... Uh, tweeting the hashtag if you wanted to see a dance-off or a match. I wanted to see a match. The dance-off won. Uh, they had a dance-off, and then the girls jumped Cameron. And then after they uh, jumped him, they took off, and then Cameron called them back in, said she wanted to kick the butt. Uh, they had a little bit of a match. I think I was the only person in the whole place who cared about this match. I was cheering my ass off for Alicia Fox. Um, uh, Oksana, I think... I don't know, because she didn't really have anybody to react with since I was honestly the only person cheering this match. Came all the way from one side of the ring all the way to the other to get in my face and tell me to shut up. And I was like, I'm the only person cheering and I'm cheering on your side. It was honestly a pretty awesome, awesome moment. Uh, Alicia, uh, she did give me the, the point. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if she recognizes who I am or if she just pointed at the one person that was cheering for her, but... I'm in your corner, Alicia, and uh, I'll be looking for you at uh, WrestleMania Access. Uh, Mark Henry versus Xavier Woods versus uh, We the People and the Americans. Uh, somehow, somehow, Henry and Xavier Woods got the win in this match, and I heard one of the loudest pops I've ever heard at a house show. Uh, basically, Cesaro and Swagger kicked the shit out of Woods the whole entire match. Henry finally got the hot tag, and the place went bananas. Uh, Henry was able to hit the world's strongest slam on uh, Jack Swagger, who took the pinfall. Uh, there was a, a long uh, promo before the match uh, got started, where basically um, uh, Cesaro got called by Zeb, uh, the next uh, world champion. And uh, I didn't really take a whole bunch from it, but they were you know, putting him over that he was in the Elimination Chamber. After this was the intermission. During the intermission, I, I met the uh, independent wrestler, Shane Cody, and I told him I was going to WrestleFest. He tried to get me to go to the next BTW event, and I just sort of looked at him like, I'm not really going to drive an hour and a half uh, you know, to see it. I, I go to WrestleFest once a year. I enjoy seeing you wrestle there, but... Uh, that's a lot of money to drive <laughs> to go to an independent show uh, with, with nobody there. Unless you book Kevin. Put Kevin on your show, Shane Cody, and I'll come. Um, after that, we came back. We were looking for blood. Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil. Darren Young got the win. Bad News Barrett came out, said his opponent wasn't, uh, wasn't there tonight. So Darren Young had to face him. Back-to-back -back matches. Darren Young beat him. Surprised. I don't think they're doing anything with Darren Young, but uh, he got the win here. Uh, next was the next match, Alberto Del Rio versus The Miz. I really, you know, the talk of a town, you always hear a thing when you when you go to shows. You remember, like, when uh, Assault and Battery went to the uh, house. No, it wasn't, I don't know what kind of independent show it was, but it was fucking had Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash, Scott Steiner. It was like a dream legend show. And uh, he was like, uh, you know, saying like the talk of the town that like different wrestlers were going to bring different wrestlers with them, and it was going to be a bigger show than it actually really was. Um, but people were saying that advertising was supposed to be Del Rio versus Mysterio. Uh, in some reviews that uh, were there, they said that Miz was the last minute substitution for Mysterio, who I guess is hurt again. Wow. Um, but um, you know, Del Rio uh, fought the Miz. It would have been a better match, and I think it would have tore the house town if it was Del Rio versus Mysterio. I wish I would get to see them on a house show match, or where they just were, would go balls out at it. Um, but Del Rio beat The Miz. I was honestly sort of surprised. I yelled, please don't leave to him. Um, it was during this match that CM Punk chants erupted from the crowd for, like, honestly, CM Punk, CM Punk, CM, and then, like, during that, like, third one, Del Rio jumped out of the ring, jumped the guardrail, and proceeded to run away from The Miz. And I think him running into the crowd caused enough distraction that the CM Punks stopped. There was nothing left after that. Um, the armbar uh, hooked it in for uh, Del Rio, and he got the win. Next was the cage match. Uh, during the cage match, I spotted Dave Meltzer, who was in the crowd about seven people away from me, like on the other side of like 
the corner, not, not across the ring, but on the corner. And I was like, oh shit, there's Meltzer. And like, I thought it was weird that he only showed up for the main event. Uh, because, or at least he moved to that seat uh, for the main event. And uh, I think I'm going to make one of those videos that I make. Like, you know, when I say like meeting Jack Swagger and I talk about that experience. <laughs> I think I'm going to make a whole video on meeting Dave. Uh, Dave. <laughs> but but it, was, it was crazy uh, to see him there. I, I took a picture of him on my phone from where he was in case I didn't get that picture to prove to um, my buddies that I saw him at the show. Uh, but um, really, really cool. Uh, Orton, Versina in a cage. It was cool to see them set the cage up. I've never seen a cage match that close. I saw the hell in the cell uh, from the eighth row. But honestly, like sitting first row and eighth row, even like sitting first row and second row is fucking huge. Um, but... Uh, it was cool to see them work a match inside the cage, especially at a house show, and it was sort of just like, you know, who gives a shit? And they're going to do what they're going to do. Um, Orton beat the shit out of Cena for a long time, and then there was that hot moment when Cena, you know, was causing havoc, and there was like a split-second two-count. And I couldn't believe the people who fucking pop for this. Uh, you know, there wasn't a camera in the house, especially like with the um, network coming out. I didn't expect them to film this, but like, I guess people really, you know, just put their belief out since this was a uh, championship match and I, I guess that's what you're looking for you know when you go to a show just you know just sort of like yeah whatever happens happens but like there was this two sec uh, two count like one two and then he kicked out at the last minute and it was like did people really think that Cena was gonna beat Orton in the middle of the ring in a cage match take the championship this soon before <laughs> elimination chamber and just like Screw everything up to where they had to go on. I know they've done phantom uh, changes of the titles, and they've even done, uh, you know, changes um, at shows, and uh, sort of like done something. But like in Oakland, California, really, people believed it. It was huge. I couldn't believe it. Uh, but Orton ended up beating Cena. Uh, when uh, he punched Cena in the balls and he crawled out the door to get the win. And then Orton went out and grabbed a, a chair in order to come back into the ring. And that's when he took the uh, the FU and the five-knuckle shuffle. And Cena ran him over with a car and this, that, and the other. But he Orton was able to bail out. Cena got to climb up on the cage and say goodbye to everybody. I'm sure they'll be back soon. They'll probably do another uh, tour, um, I guess, in August for when SummerSlam comes back to L.A. That's right. I'm saying it here. I got no scoops, but I feel it right here. But uh, that was my trip. It was fun. It rained the whole way home. It sucked. I got home at 12.30. I fell asleep probably about 1 o'clock. And uh, I had to wake up again to go to, uh, go to school. Fuck school. To go to work. I woke up at 4.25. And I... Walked out the door at 5. No, no, I apologize. I walked out the door about 4.30 in order to get to work at 5 and then work a full day. It sucked, but it was worth it. I'm fired up for WrestleMania now. It's what I needed. And um, the road to WrestleMania, baby. I'm on it. Peace out.